My name is Richard Smith. And Richard, uh, what is your connection to, uh, to Point Pleasant and, uh, and the river? Well, in 1967, when the bridge fell, I was a West Virginia State Bridge Inspector. I lived in Buchanan, West Virginia, and I was working on I-79 projects, building bridges on the interstates. My boss came in right after the bridge fell and said, we're looking for volunteers to go to Point Pleasant. The bridge has fallen down there, and we don't have enough bridge inspectors to do the job. So they were going all over the state of West Virginia asking for volunteers to come down to work. Well, at first I didn't think I wanted to come down, and a couple of my friends came down, came back and told me about the area. It sounded so interesting that I decided to come to Point Pleasant. So uh, in December of 1968, three days before 1969, I came to Point Pleasant, and uh, we worked on the bridge. We stayed up at the resort, and we worked Monday through Friday on the bridge. I got to talking to people in the area here about the bridge collapse. So I was really curious about it, like most people. And uh, one gentleman told me, he said, you know, the sign up here says 46 people died on the bridge. But he said, that isn't exactly right. He said, my brother and his two friends died because of the bridge. I said, what do you mean? He said, well, I work in a stand in the parking lot down at the plant and see my brother's house across the river. But he, to go home after working, he had to drive all the way up to Middleport and back down to his house, which took over an hour. Or he had to go to Huntington and drive back up the other side of the river, which took about an hour. But he said he could get in his John boat and just go across the river and he could be home in 15 minutes. Well, the guys worked shift work. That means you work 8 to 4, 4 to 12, 12 to 8, rotating shifts. And they didn't want to have to drive an hour to and from. That's two hours a day from their family and their kids and their sleep. So uh, they took their boat. Things was going well. Then late in the fall of the year, they came out one night about midnight, and it was so foggy. And some of the friends said, come on, go around with us. Don't, don't take the boat. And they said, no, we've crossed here so many times. It's not a problem. We'll be fine. Well, unfortunately, they got out in the middle of the river. I think they got lost in the fog. The motor died. They were trying to, they, they think they were trying to get the motor started, and they went under a barge coming up the river. And they all three, unfortunately, drowned. Now, that's just one situation that I'm aware of. I was told there was other things that happened in the area that could have caused uh, more problems. But just want people to realize that when you talk about things like the bridge collapse and people dying, that uh, it does the ripple effect. It doesn't just affect the people that died on the bridge. It affects many things in many ways. Okay. Is there anything else that uh, you noticed coming new to town that the, the impact of that, uh, that event uh, seemed to have had on the community? Well, we take our bridges down here. I've, I've been here now. Every, every since I came down in 68, I've been here since. Got my cemetery plot up here, so I'm going to be here from now on. Uh, but this is my life. And I've noticed that on the river, we take our bridges uh, for granted so much. I'll cross that bridge three, four times a day into Ohio without even thinking of it. I mean, it's just like Galpolis and Point Pleasant's one town. We yeah. run over there to shop. We run over here to do this and that. And we take it so for granted just getting to jump up there and run across the bridge. So when the bridge is gone, oh, my goodness, it, it just impacts everything because we uh, – we spend as much money, well, more money probably in, in Gapolis, Ohio, than we ever spend in Point Pleasant. Yeah. So it's just uh, such an impact to be without your bridge. Now, at one point, I think a barge or something hit the bridge, and the bridge was closed for a while. And we couldn't drive on the bridge. But people actually walked across the bridge and would go to the shopping centers over there and back. And it was a big deal, really. I mean, I brought my kids when they were small down uh, at the time the bridge was closed just to walk across the bridge and back and say, we walked across the bridge. You did you know? it. Yeah.